morning and happy Sabbath. I hope that you are having a beautiful and most blessed day thus far. I'm excited. I took some pictures and I want to show them to you and I hope you enjoy them a lot. Okay, so the first picture I have is of this plant. Isn't that cool? Huh. It's a little blurry, you say? Well, oh, I guess it is. Well, let, let me show you a different one. All right, I'll show you this one. This is a, a box that my grandma gave me. Isn't that cool? Are you kidding me? Are you telling me it's blurry too? What? Oh, boy, I really am not a good photographer. Okay, I know this one. It'll be really cool. Isn't that awesome? Are you kidding me? It's blurry too? What is my problem? Hmm. Oh, you know what? I know what my problem is. Let's try this again. That is the last picture that I showed you. It's a coaster that I have in my kitchen. Isn't that pretty and clear? Yes, indeed it is. And the, the last picture that I showed you before that was my grandma's gift box that she gave me. Isn't that gorgeous? It's made of all stone. Oh, it's so pretty. And then the first picture that I showed you is my little plant holder. And it's so cute. And I named him Spike. I love Spike. He's adorable. Yes, indeed. You know, what I think my problem was is I was just focusing too much on a specific thing that I looked too closely. And sometimes when you look too closely, well, your picture doesn't turn out so good. And I'll give you an example. What if some kids are at school and they have weird clothes or weird colored hair? Doesn't mean that they're a bad person, it just means they're a little different. But when we focus too closely on something, we miss the whole picture. So I showed you some pictures beforehand of the objects I wanted to take pictures of and show you, but they were too close, way too close. But if you back the camera up just a little bit, you get to see the whole picture. You got to see Spike, you got to see my gift box, and you got to see my coaster. Those things are really pretty, but if you focus too closely, well, you just don't see them. You see blurriness. And I think that's kind of what I'm trying to say is that when we focus too much on one specific thing, whether it's a person that we don't appreciate or like, whether it's something that we don't like to eat or drink, or if it's homework we don't like to do, we focus so much on it that we just create a dislike for it. But if you take a few steps back and look at the whole person or the whole situation or the meal that you don't like, you can be like, well, you know, I like the broccoli and carrots in that meal. I don't necessarily like the rice or I don't like math and I don't like geometry but I do like reading or I don't like that weird kid at school who makes funny faces at me but maybe if I step a couple feet back and go you know what that's the person that God created and I am called to love them then maybe our perspective will change you know, if we take a couple steps back and just realize that God created all of this for us and that we need to learn to love one another, that we need 